Moving on to the next video, we have to find the number of points of intersection between the function 3x squared minus x plus 4 and this function here, g of x equals negative 13x minus 9. So notice we're dealing with a quadratic and a line here. Now, in the previous video, we were finding the actual points of intersection between a bunch of quadratics and a bunch of lines. But in this question, notice they're asking for the number of points of intersection. So they're not actually asking for the points of intersection. They're just asking how many there are. And in the previous video, I showed you that there could be three cases. You could have two points of intersection, one or none. So the way you do this type of question is the exact same process as the one before. So you take the two functions, uh, make the y values equal. So we'd have 3x squared minus x plus 4 equals negative 13x minus 9. And then you bring everything over to one side. So let's bring this over to the left side. So we'd have 3x squared negative x plus 13x would give us 12x. And then 14 plus 9 would give us 13 and then we'd have zero left on the right side. What's different is at this point, you actually don't have to solve this. We can actually throw this in to the discriminant formula. So if you remember the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. And if this is greater than zero, then there's two solutions. If it's equal to zero, there's one solution. If it's less than zero, there's no solutions. So when they're asking for the number of points of intersection, at this point, you just have to throw in these values into this formula and see what value it takes. So you don't actually have to solve for the x values, plug them back in, get the y values like we did in the video before. So notice here, the a value of this quadratic equation is 3, the b value is 12, c value is 13. So the discriminant would be uh, b squared, so 12 squared minus 4 times 3 uh, times 13, like that. So 12, square, uh, 12 squared is 144, and then negative 4 times 3 times 13 gives us negative 156. So 144 minus 156, that gives us negative 12. So the discriminant is less than zero. And if you remember, if the discriminant is less than zero, that means there are no solutions. If it was equal to zero, there'd be one solution. If it was greater than zero, there would be two solutions. So because there's no solutions to this, uh, there's no points of intersection. So the answer is there's zero points of intersection between this quadratic and this line.